Hi guys, so I wanted to share with you um, some tiny townhouses that I've been making. I made these a couple of days ago um, just so I can see how, you know, they looked and stuff. I've had them for a little while and I decided to play with them last week, I believe it was, when I made these. Um, but to share with you some of the dyes that I used, I used the basic Tiny Townhouse from Paper Tray Ink. Hopefully that's focusing for you. So this is the basic die. You need this die for all of the tiny town houses because they're just add-ons to this die here. So I used that one. I used the, I think it's called Spookyville um, add-on. And I think this one's from the latest release, I believe. So I use that one. I use the Sweet Shop. And you'll understand what these look like. When I show you the houses, um, the ones that I didn't use, but they do have in the collection, are the Schoolhouse. And I show this one in a previous video that I did. Um, I'll link it down below for you guys, for those of you that haven't seen what the Schoolhouse look, looks like, that wants to see what it looks like. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'll link that <clears throat> in the description box down below. And then they also have a church. And I haven't used the church yet. So those are all the dyes that are in the Tiny Town collection. Except for I don't have the um the tree and the fence. I have to get that. I didn't think I would want it. So I didn't order it when I ordered the Spooky Zill um, die, but I do want it now. So now I have to wait for it to come back in stock. So those are the dies that I used. And the first house, the basic one, makes this die here, or makes this house here. I showed this in a previous video, but for those of you who may not have seen it, this is what the basic um, die makes. And then this is an extra roof. Um, I have the, the two roof dies too, so let me grab those so you can see what those look like. Okay, so this is the scalloped one and then this one here. So those are the two um, roof dies that they currently have out for the Tiny Town Collection. So that is the scalloped one and what it looks like. And then this is just the basic, really cute. And then I just have this, um, what do you call this? Oh my goodness, I can't think of what this is called. Curling ribbon um, on the side, and it says keep calm and pamper on. I just had a tea light in here, but it's since died. I think I glued this down. Did I glue this down? No, I didn't. Okay, let's check and see if I glued that down. So that's what the basic die makes. And then you also have... Um, this one, which is the, I think, Spookyville. Let's see how I can hold this. So I used the scalloped die again for the roof. I really like this one. And I did some splattering. Um, these are the windows that came with this one. It has, like, crooked shutters. I hope you guys can see that. And then this one, you get the chimney. I have the little ghost. I have him coming out of the chimney. You get the bats. You get this porch. And this little detail here. You get the pumpkins. Another little ghost. And I can't remember if you get a door. I have to look and see if you get the door too. You don't get the little tombstones, those are buttons. But um, this is what that one looks like. Try 
trying to get it to focus for you. Okay, and so what I like about this one is the fact that you can put this porch on any of them. So if I wanted to make this more of a traditional or simple house, I can add the porch to the regular basic die and it'll be, you know, a whole different house. So that's what one of the things that attracted me to this die here. So I really like that. Of course, I also love Halloween, so that was a given. And then I also did, this is coming off because it's bell is too heavy. I did this little tag here on the side, which keeps, you know what, I'm just going to tie a knot so I can keep the tag on, then tie a bow. Okay, so now my tag will stay on because I have a tea light in this one too, but I'll just cut this when I want to open it. Um, the handle also comes with the basic die, so you get the handle with the basic house um, as well. And then this tag is from uh, My Creative Time. I can get it to focus as well as this brew stamp here the little witch's cauldron and then this bell is from Hobby Lobby so that is the spooky bill I think I'm saying that I hope I'm saying that right if I'm not then I'll correct it in the description so that's the spooky one and then the sweet shop is this one here and I think this turned out super cute I love them all um, uh, this one is again the tag I use from my creator time and then the stamp this stamp here the enjoy is from Jada Blossom um, I can't remember where I got the cupcake stamp from but it's cute and I colored it in a little real focus there we go and I also stamped it over here. And then I used the um, Sweet Stamp Shop from the Little Petite Houses to stamp Sweet Shop here on the front. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. And then I like this one because the, this one comes with the awning and you can do it in, you know, your different colors. So this is really cute. You get the flowers with this one, the little um, window boxes or planters. You get your door, these windows. Just having a tough time focusing, like super bad. All right, there we go. That looks better. Wow. Um. So yeah, and then I went all the way around with the flowers, except for the back. I didn't do the back. And then the awning is on the back, of course. And this one, you start from um, not this, this side, but this side. So I thought that was cute. I can't wait to see what they come up with for Christmas. That one's going to be adorable. And then on the top, I just have some ribbon. In two colors some black organza and this pink one and that's it so I had a lot of fun playing with these um, these are really really cute and cute to give little gifts in to just put tea lights in and do a, like a little mini village um, just a lot of fun to play with so if you guys are interested in getting these dies um, please do check paper train ink out because you will have a lot of fun playing with these it is a lot of you know, smaller pieces, but, you know, putting it together, is it's a lot of fun. It's not hard. So, oh, and I might as well show this. I just got this in a few minutes ago. So I will share this really quick. And it's just the um, Tiny Tag Sayings from the new Lawn Fawn release. 
So I got that in. I really like this for you. I really need to get that dye. I keep getting, putting it in my cart and taking it out. But I'm going to go ahead and get it. So I got that to go with the Tiny Tags dye. Um, from the new release as well. So these are really cute too. So I'm going, I'm about to go to my local scrapbooking store. Because I wanted the fall paper that came out in a new release and it was sold out where I got this from and my local scrapbook store has it in stock for a quarter more so I'm going to head up there and see what I can find as well as that paper and see if I'm going to get anything else and then I also got in this um what is this called village manor add-on for the Tim Holtz house you guys know I love Halloween, so I had to get this one. I want them all, so I still need to get the Surf Shack one and then the smaller dwelling um, that he came out with. I don't have those two, so I need to get that. But I'm going to try to play with this this weekend. We'll see. So that is my short little video. Um, stay tuned. I still have a flip book that I received that I need to film. And I'm trying to think of what else that I need to film. I have, um, I still need to do a video on the fall and Halloween treat bag kit so you guys can see what's actually coming in those. I think I'm going to have like one or two of those left. I'm not sure yet. I'm still putting them together from the pre-orders. And then I also need to show um, what's going to be in the Bumblebee flipbook kit. And then I have a um, Halloween kit. Also, that, that one's almost done. Um, it's going to be called Bewitched. And I'm just about done with that one now. Um, that one I started before I started the other ones. So stay tuned for those. And I will talk to you guys soon. You guys have a great weekend. Um, I'll probably be doing another video later today or tomorrow. We'll see. And bye, guys.